Hi guys. This presentation is being brought to you by brought to you. Okay. Hi guys. This presentation is being brought to us by Banggood. It's banggood.com. They're a Chinese company out there and they have uh, awesome prices on a lot of different things. And you just check out their website sometime. That's bang, banggood.com. And you'll see they don't just carry little airplanes and stuff like that. They carry all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. Look at this little mini arc welder. Or little, yeah, mini, mini electronic welding portable. 200 amp. Wow. 250 amp. Wow. Pretty big stuff. But they've got everything from drones to race cars to airplanes. You name it. They've got a, uh, a warehouse in the in the United States, they've got a UK warehouse. They've got uh, they've got warehouses all around the world, I guess. But uh, their prices are really pretty good on some of this stuff. Some of the stuff I see on Amazon for uh, like thirty bucks. There's a battery checker in here I saw that they carry for about seven ninety nine, and they charge thirty bucks for the thing on Amazon. So somebody didn't mind waiting the month to get it, and uh, sat on it for a while and up price thirty bucks. So you know, look at that guys you can you can skip a lot of that skip uh, pass up the middleman and, and go straight to uh, all kinds of goods guys and uh, just check them out so anyway we're gonna get on here with the unboxing of the uh, little bang good it's I think it's a 450 millimeter p51 D coming shortly hold tight howdy pilots skip here as promised we've got an unboxing coming up of the uh, e-chain P50, mini, 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 it's a micro, P51D, it's got a gyro, ready to fly, comes with a transmitter, uh, and supposedly two batteries for the plane, I think the transmitter might need some batteries, uh, I think I've got a couple of those, but let this, let's get this out of the box, this was sent to me by Banggood, banggood.com, check them out guys, they've got a ton of stuff on their site, uh, including planes, drones, uh, household stuff, hey, all kinds of really cool stuff, at really good prices. If you don't mind waiting just a little while for it to get here, these only took about two weeks to get here. So if, if you if you go with the, uh, I think I think I think they came by air. So I imagine if you go by the air option, it gets through the customs and everything else a lot faster. Uh, I'm not sure what the cost is. Probably varies on the size of the object. But uh, a lot of the products that we get here, you know, that we pick up on Amazon. You know, people pick up on at places like this and then they sell them at a surcharge so that you can get them you know within the next few days a lot of people don't mind waiting a month i wouldn't mind doing that if it, you know get some good quality products and uh, turn around and make a few bucks yourself too but uh yeah it comes with an instruction manual again this was furnished to us by uh banggood banggood.com thank you out there kevin banggood kevin he uh contacted me after seeing a couple of my videos and uh asked me if i'd be interested in doing some reviews so this is one of the planes that he's sending me. We're expecting to see an F-22 Raptor, uh, just like it, coming up shortly. Uh, thought maybe it would have been this one with the shipment because they were sent out at the same time, so it could be any day. But uh, it comes ready to fly. It's got a, an instruction manual. Uh, let's see what we've got in here. Because it's got some cool features. It's talking about one key return. It's got a radio under there built in. Yeah, okay, let's pull this out. We've got the radio, it comes with a radio. Uh, antenna looks too light, guys, so you don't have an antenna flipping around. And, uh, extra prop, it looks like. Extra prop and landing gear and charger. Looks like for the batteries. Yep, USB charger for the batteries. So that should be kind of neat. Won't take long to put this together. Let's pull it out and take a look at it, guys. And uh, banggood.com, Kevin out there, thanks again for this, this opportunity. That was very nice of you guys. Uh, I didn't seek them out. They actually sought, uh, sought me out and, and saw one of my videos and caught one of my email, caught my email address, I guess, on one of the videos that I shared with, with one of my viewers, uh, one or more of my viewers. Uh, but they got my email and they sent an email directly to me. This is kind of a neat little plane, to tell you the truth, guys. It's a little weightier than I expected for a micro. But uh, it's bigger than a micro, as you can see. It's got about a 500, I think a 540 millimeter wingspan. Uh, the instructions, and 340 millimeters long. 
all that information will be in the book here. And it's written in pretty good English, guys. Centering control surfaces with the transmitter turned on, the battery connected to the ESC and installed in the battery compartment. It is now possible to check the center and all control surfaces. Switch the gyro to expert level when you operate the below steps. So, I mean, it, 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 it sounds pretty concise and pretty clear, pretty easy to read, considering uh, you know, we're used to reading um, you know, English to Chinese, Chinese to English translations, which is sometimes you know, kind of difficult. They did a good job there. So this is Eching, and they've got a good name out there, guys. They make a lot of really cool little race drones and stuff like that, too. As a matter of fact, Banggood carries those. I was looking at their website last night. But let's give you a little closer view of this little guy, and we can put the landing gear on it and stuff like that and try it out later. Uh, but I haven't got any of the batteries or anything else charged. Uh, I think it's brushed. Yeah, that's brushed. It's, it's a brushed motor, I can tell. But, um, you know, hey, that doesn't mean it doesn't fly right. It doesn't fly nice. Cute little uh, transmitter. And aerobatics. It does uh, one-touch aerobatics. You'd be flying along, and you can just hit the key, and it, it'll do a loop or a spin, I think, whichever you decide you want it to do with the uh, control input. Um, I believe these are for the uh, levels. So one will keep it upright, one will keep it this way, one will keep, give you full without the gyro. But uh, there's supposed to be a one key return, and somebody said, I think that's this is it. You hit the one key, and if it's going in one direction of the way it took off, and you kind of lose orientation, you could hit this key and it'll turn around and come back that way. But I was warned not to try that, that it'll be a result in an instant crash. I think that's just going to have to be an understanding of how the system works to avoid that, so it may take a little bit of practice. Uh, as I thought, <laughs> okay, here's a battery, but that's not for this. Um, that's going to be an airplane battery, and there's probably one installed. Let's open up the airplane and take a look. I'm going to need four double A's in here, and I happen to have those handy, so we'll uh, we'll be able to try this out in a little bit. And weather permitting, <laughs> it's only 15 mile an hour winds out today, guys, and Cold is, excuse me, it's, it's about 11 degrees out right now. We're supposed to have a high of 15 today. Uh, but sunny, and it's uh, supposed to calm down to about 10. So we'll try it. We'll see. We'll, we'll think about it. Uh, otherwise, we'll just have to wait for another day to get this out. But it looks like a pretty good, decent little build. Um, you know, as far as the micros are concerned, it's actually, actually stronger. It's got thicker wings. It's got... Uh, Heavier duty stuff. I'm not doing this and pulling it off the back right off the bat like some of the little E-flights that you got to take care of. The timber I know was notorious for the first thing that went was right back there. You had to put a little touch of glue. But uh, yeah, looks kind of neat. We have to straighten out our tail gear. So obviously it does not have turning uh, gear. Works on one servo. So it's a bank and yank, guys. But uh, three channel, that should be fun. That should be fun. And for the price, I think it was uh, normally, what, $76 in some sense. Uh, the picture was on the, will be on the video. Um, but, yeah, nice little plane. Thanks, guys. We'll see more with see more of it uh, soon. But that's the unboxing of this little guy. And here's our scale. You can see. Uh, the radio is actually smaller than most radios, but it's, it's still, you can see with my hands, it fits nice. And it's ergonomic. I mean, it's everything's in a quick, easy place to hit. You got electronic trimming, push button trimming. So yeah, should should be pretty cool. I don't see any any expos, but they're probably built into the uh, limited throw or whatever on on the on the plane itself. Okay, so uh, we'll get her set up. We'll chime it in. Oh, did I pop the hood on this thing? How do I pop the hood? There is no hood to pop. Okay, this is a bottom compartment, I guess. All right, yep, and there's a battery in here already. Okay, so we'll get these out and get them charged. There's the connector for the battery. That's it. We'll get that out and get that connected up, and we'll install the gear and center the surfaces and uh, try it out. Thanks for watching. This is Skip. 
on behalf of banggood.com, thank you very much, and uh, we'll fly it with pride. Bye for now. Garmin, take a picture. Hey guys, <clears throat> back here again. I got a battery, uh, four batteries I put in this thing, so this works. It takes a couple seconds to come on, but that works. We'll power that off for now. Right over the binding instructions here, and uh, let's make sure I grab the battery that I charged already. This is this one because it comes with two batteries, as you see, an extra prop. Comes with two extra screws for the landing gear. I lost one. I have no idea where it went to. I never heard it hit the floor. But, uh, and a charger. It doesn't take long to charge these. They're little one cell batteries, and uh, I'd say about 15, 20 minutes was all it took. Uh, just charge it right off my computer. So we'll throw one of these in here. I kind of already straightened out the wheels, but yeah, two screws uh, to hold in the landing gear, guys, and, and that's it. Um, there is a right and a left as far as the gear is concerned, so put the little, little struts on the inside of this one. Um, you know, most if it had gear retracts, uh, retracts obviously it would there, you would see that on the outside. But for the rolling purposes and stuff, I've got it going pretty straight, pretty straight, straight enough to to take off with, I think, and uh, definitely good enough for a demo here, real quick. Now the key here is that once you get interrupted by your phone uh, that'll stop in a second but uh, the key here is that once you bind or once you plug in the, the uh, airplane you have to turn the radio on within five seconds okay so we're gonna go ahead and do that as soon as the phone stops ringing there we go okay so we'll do that real quick I won't close the door yet turn the radio on Set it over here and it says wait several seconds when it binds, it'll do its kind of little dance type of thing, too. And you're also supposed to make sure you have it down in beginner mode. Okay, it looks like it, it, it has bound up. Uh, to arm it, because right now I give it a little bit of throttle, it won't do anything. So to arm it, go all the way forward, transmitter beeps, bring it back down, it beeps again, now it's armed. So we have done this with gyro on now, okay? So the gyro's on. Let me go ahead and put, put the wires back in here real quick. Yeah, they tuck right into the bottom real nice. This great be a great little uh, beginner plane for, uh, you know, for uh, kids or, or, you know, older people like on a budget, whatever. If you like the micros, it, they, you can certainly fit them anywhere. You don't end up with a house full of airplanes like I've got. But uh, it's a Miss Kentucky State. It's actually a really small little replica of the 1700 FMS that I've got in there. Uh, but as you can see, gyros work and everything. And it's got some pull. Elevator works, rudder works. And then afterwards, when you're done, put in an expert mode okay and then you're going to want to center your controls so like i've i need right now i've got uh well, the ailerons are perfect the elevator looks elevator looks fine too the rudder is just a little bit to the right and that's just a simple take needle nose to this little little deal here and just give it a little spread okay sometimes you can just pull it out by hand if you're careful with it and don't put too, too much stress on it you got to grab the inside of the the thing here though. Now we're going to give it just a little tweak and uh, yeah, I didn't do it do it enough. But anyway, that's how you straighten out the rudder. It's simple little wire adjustments here. Other than that, should be pretty cool. As soon as we don't have 15, 20 mile an hour winds, I'll get this thing out and get her flying. 
Thanks for watching. Again, guys, this is the e -Ching P51D from Banggood, banggood.com. Check them out, guys. It's a cool store. Uh, I'm probably going to look at a lot of different things that they carry, everything from FPV to household appliances, uh, different things you might just like to you know, throw in your, your toolbox, too. They've got some cool stuff. But this will be kind of interesting. Uh, it's got the one-button aerobatics, so you're flying along up there, and uh, you know, you're know you in flight, you hit the one-button aerobatics, and as soon as you hit this this way, this way, or that way, or that way, your aileron controller, your, it'll either do a roll that way, or it'll do a flip that way. So that should be kind of cool. But yeah, you've got expert mode, so you can fly it upside down and all that kind of stuff. And you've got mid-range here for uh, mid mid-range gyros, gyro help. It looks like it looks like it will have a limit. It will limit your bank, is what I'm saying. An expert, there is kind of like the AS3X. There's no limit. So yeah, this should be a pretty good little plane. And in beginner, beginner, again, there's there's very little. Okay, very little, very little throw before it straightens you back out again. Okay. That's interesting. Cool. We'll have to check it out. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Kevin, over there. Bang good. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll get this thing out as soon as we can, guys. And uh, happy flying. Ciao for now.